Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I'm going to bring you Inside Star Citizen, September 3rd, 2020. That's today, and it was a pretty good one. Uh, they've been doing really good with a lot of these community shows here lately. Uh, much better than they had been a while back. Now, here early on, they're showing off the grenade launcher and how it's going to work. Uh, they talked about the different physics behind it, uh, you know, how accurate it could be compared to like regular grenades and how they were trying to, you know, make those uh, a little bit more in line or a little bit better. Uh, the grenade launcher itself will be more accurate than a thrown grenade because the grenade will explode on impact. But it's really neat. I really like the way this thing looks and I really like the way that it performs. Uh, they did fantastic of actually showing all of it off, uh, you know, in demos here. Uh, they just showed off the missile launcher and the railgun. Both of those are kind of underwhelming at the moment. Uh, and then they went in back into showing off this awesome bearing, uh, was a B-33 grenade launcher. Uh, really cool. Like I said, it performs really well. It's pretty accurate. Um... And it, it can definitely be a game changer in combat. I know that I'm going to have a few of these in my inventory. I'd like to be able to pull, call on them whenever I need them. Uh, so whenever I do FPS type stuff, I definitely will have them stored on multiple ships. You know, when the time comes that the inventory is physicalized so that they are an option available to me or my uh, comrades as we go into battle. So definitely exciting news with this grenade launcher. You can see how it works on the 890 jump. They were just able to take out a bunch of people. Uh, these are some pretty cool little decks here. I don't know where, what space station that is, but obviously it's something we may get to see. This looks like it's Theaters of War. Maybe all of this is actually Theaters of War. Uh, I have not gotten to test Theaters of War or anything like that, so hopefully this is something we all can see in the near future. This could be Arena Commander here as well. Uh, so all sorts of cool little goodies we get to see in this episode. And the grenade launcher is not the only one that you know we get to see. You'll see something pretty cool here later in the video as well. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the grenade launcher? Is this something you're really looking forward to using? Um, something you don't really care for? You think it's overkill or too powerful? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, one, for one, looking forward to it. I've loved grenade launchers in most games and uh, think they're really uh, a lot of fun if you can use them correctly. Uh, it's something that may take a little more skill in some games than others. So I'm hoping this isn't a I win button for most people. Obviously, the rate of fire needs to be slower on it than on, you know, your automatic rifles and stuff. So, I hope they get the balance just right. But in true CIG fashion, I'm sure we'll see a balance pass, a rebalance pass, and a, another rebalance pass before they get it right. That's okay. I mean, that's what alpha and beta testing are all about, right? So, the next thing that they went into are how they were kind of using some new shaders to uh, repaint terrain and you know other I guess places as you can see here that this little hanger effect with the lighting and you know the reflections all of that in there uh, they show up before and after honestly uh, I'm kind of got mixed feelings about it yes I feel like they can get a little more uh, color depth um, but I don't know how much it's actually improving it. Maybe when I see it in engine, in game, while I'm playing it, I'll notice a bigger difference. Uh, but I didn't notice that massive of a difference between you know these different. Obviously, with the smoke effects, it's a big difference. But uh, like on planet, they're going to show you some stuff on planet. Uh, you could definitely tell a difference. It's just I don't know if I like it a whole lot more or what. Uh, I'm just I'm undecided on those changes uh, obviously it gives them a lot more uh, I guess variety that they can choose from uh, they can make things look quite a bit different from one place to another which is needed for sure because all of one planet shouldn't look all the same uh, you know it's parts of it should look much different than other parts in, in theory 
So it definitely needed this to come into play, but uh, again, I'm not completely sold on it just yet. I want to see it in game and not just in these still photos. And they do talk about also redoing some of the paintings on the ships. Uh, they, there's like several layers of, I guess you want to say art, if you want to call it that. Uh, but this is this new layer that they're doing is going to allow for multiple paint jobs for ships, different paint schemes, stuff we should be able to see in the store before long. Um, and then here, here we are talking about the planets again, the shader for the planets and how it has changed quite a few different things. Um, it does look more crisp if you're looking at it, but I don't know. You tell me guys, what do you think in the comments? Do you like this change? Do you think it's a major change or do you think it's just something minor that um, isn't going to make a huge difference just yet? And maybe you guys with 4K monitors, you know, with a 4K rig set up, it'll make a massive difference. Here you see this one just looks dimmer to me. I And so does this one. I, you know, I just, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's my monitor. Maybe it's my setup. Maybe it's the video itself. Of course, this one looks more crisp. So... I've got mixed feelings about it, and I think it's given me mixed results. So the last thing that they talked about, which I am pretty excited for, are the cargo decks, and they're also going to talk about docking, something that we've been waiting months and months and months, years and years and years upon. Uh, the cargo decks are pretty cool looking. Uh, they're they're going to talk about how uh, they're going to try to color code different types of cargo, as you can see there. And that will actually also be the way that our whole C's will work, or our whole D's, or whole E's, whatever you're, whatever hole you're uh, using to transport cargo. Uh, these color coatings will probably signify different types of cargo. Maybe pirates will have a you know different idea of, oh yeah, I want to steal from that ship. Uh, who knows? Uh, something that could be interesting in the future. So this is the docking part. This is probably one of the most exciting parts for me anyways, uh, that I've been looking forward to because there's a lot of ships out there that aren't in the game or that we don't have yet that they're going to have to be able to dock with space stations because they're just too big to land on any platform or to go down to the planet's surface. So they've created these docking arms that will actually extend out towards the ship. And as they extend, they'll also fill in the gaps for the walkway and stuff. Uh, really impressive. They actually put this thing in game in engine and have tested it out already. This was just kind of a concept that they wanted to show, I guess, some of the higher ups. And they, it's impressive. It's really impressive. I definitely like this, especially when they start getting some more of the detail in on that thing. I mean, this thing's almost ready to go, you know? That's kind of the way I feel about it. Uh, this will extend. It's somewhat armored so that, you know, any space debris, you know, a little bit of space dust or whatever is not going to penetrate it and, you know, just send everybody to their death. Uh, then they also have the little extension there that's going to extend out to get a good complete seal with whatever ship you're docking with. And it also has a buffer area so that when you, if you slam up against it, it's not going to do damage to you or the docking arm. Uh, so they really did think about a lot of this when putting these, I guess, retractable or extendable docking arms um, in here. And like I said, this isn't something that's been verified being in game yet. This is just something that they worked on and said, hey, let's put it in an engine and see what it looks like. And we can present it to the other developers and see what they say. They've got the little windows here. Obviously, like I said, there's not a lot of detail on the inside because this is more like a white box phase. And uh, the thing actually extends. It's actually able to dock. So very exciting. Something that we can really look forward to. Hopefully this is going to be in sooner rather than later. I'm hoping by 312 because, uh, you know, I'd really love to see some of these bigger ships. Obviously, we'll probably wait for the Javelin and the Idris uh, before they put it in game. We'll wait till Squadron 42. But... You know, maybe they can get the Kraken out sooner, or uh, Banu Merchantman, maybe uh, sometimes it'll need to dock. So, really, really, really interesting stuff for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. 
you know, thank you guys for watching the videos. If you want to support the channel, I have a Patreon and a YouTube members section set up. It's in the description below. You can also watch the ads all the way through or click on them and that supports the channel as well. So thank you once again to everybody. I do appreciate it. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy and I'll see you out in the verse. <laughs>